Hi everybody, it's Renee from Phoenix, Arizona area. And this is a video response to Robbie out there in Southern California. And um, I want to thank Robbie so much for all her great ideas for the garden. And one of which were these great solar panels that you can get on eBay. And I created my very own um, bird bath for my birds. And um, she had a really nice one that had a rounded rock. So I got this really rough rock and I put in here. And then I got this cute little froggy from the dollar store. I already had this chiminea, so um, that's a cute feature. I may put a hole in it and actually put the um, uh, pump in there, but I haven't decided yet. So I think it is beautiful. And I just wanted to show you an idea. If you do have clogging of your pumps, you can uh, just wrap around some tool around cut, uh, tie it off with a rubber band and then that will prevent any of the leaves and um, debris from getting in the pump and destroying the pump so this is the um, solar panel as you can see if I put it down it turns off and if I keep it face towards the sun it keeps that beautiful uh, pump going for the birdies so they could take a bath and cool off and take a drink Okay, and I just want to show you another one of the pumps that I created, and I love it. I've got two more pumps to create, and I'll give you a catch up on those when I do. This was a really nice bird bath that I got at Tuesday morning, and it's cute because it has these stone birds that come on and off. I actually had one of the birds in the in the fountain trying to talk to those birds and didn't get much of a conversation going, so he flew away. But I do see that the birds do come in to these beautiful uh, bird baths. This is the um, solar panel um, that really gets that pump going. And I just wanted to show you to prevent, again, to prevent the, um, see this debris that's being caught by the tool. So you can just wipe it right off. It won't get into into the motor of the pump at all. And you just tie it off with a rubber band. Um, I know Robbie has tons of tools she uses to protect her plants. And I've been using it to protect my plants as well. I also use it over the sliding glass door. Let me just show you that for a moment. It's over the sliding glass door. Just like that. And it's used to prevent the birds from actually slamming into that window. Because I like to sit there, my desk is on the other side of that uh, patio door, and I like to sit out and watch the birds while I'm doing work, any kind of um, office work that I have. And so, um, yeah, that beautiful piece of tool comes in so handy. And also, let me walk over here, I wanted to show you. It also comes in handy to protect a lot of the very um, delicate vegetables that I have. So this is a basil and um, you know with any of those beautiful and yummy delicious fragrant um, spices uh, the the bugs seem to really want to tear into it. So that just keeps all the pests off. This is an organic garden and so I don't use any kind of pesticide. And if you look over this area, I have my peppermint, which is another um, herb or spice that these um, ant, the bugs, ants, flies, mosquitoes, all number of flying and crawling pests can't get in and chew up these leaves. Now it's ever since I 